you hear me? Can I hear you now? Yeah, loud and clear. Awesome. So okay. I just talked for a few minutes <laughs> and okay. uh, nobody heard me then. Okay. Okay. So I just turned down my volume so I can hear you. So I don't. And a couple of times when I did this with some other people, I was getting a double echo because I, I had to close down. I had too many browsers that were open. Yeah. 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 I, so, I'm going to try, okay, try go one ahead. more. I'm going to try one more just to see if this works. Oh, my goodness. That's just horrible. But, you know, this is how life goes. Things work. They don't. Oh, yeah. Tell me I'm about it. I don't know what I'm doing. Every day is Can an adventure. Hear, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. So then Good. it was um, actually the other set of earbuds. That doesn't yeah. Work. So um, tell me about yourself, first of all, because uh, I know sure. you've been watching some of my videos, so I can get a little general idea. So when I bounce back and forth sure. on anything that we might want to talk about. Yeah. Well, Ron, so um, I'm here to interview you, but I'd love to talk okay. about myself. Don't we all love to talk about ourselves? Yeah. <laughs> so I have lost over 100 pounds. Okay, and congrats. I, start, I started on Atkins back okay. in 2006. And then I've kind of, um, you know, done the chip cold sort of up and down a little bit here and there. Um, but then I migrated from Atkins into more keto and then into carnivore. Okay. So, so I, basically, basically you did basically the same thing I did, but I went Weight Watchers and then I went, you know, I tried the Jenny Craig's and all that. And so oh, I did those too. Keto I did those and yeah. Prior and then I, to that. Yeah. Then I'm, I've been kind of like maintenance for the last six months or several months to almost a year now. And then back and forth the keto the carnivore but the only thing that messes me up is the economy and the prices of food right now so i gotta do what i gotta do to budget our money accordingly yeah right so as far as carnivore i find that it's very very beneficial and if you're going to add a few little vegetables in that can also be beneficial for people right right what we don't want to do is get our insulin too high no exactly yeah, no, so I, I've been, um, I started my journey in uh, the middle, actually the uh, beginning of January 2020, but I officially, my YouTube channel started on September 1st, 2020. My time I made contact with the doctor on the second and third time in that year, in August, they decided that they were on board with what I wanted to do after we, got, we were going to get the surgery. And we'll talk about all that. And, uh, Anyways, I was 367 pounds in January of that year. And then August 17th, I was uh, 325 because when you're doing surgery, they, they try to recommend you try to lose about 10% of your body weight before you have surgery. Right. And I did that, but I didn't want surgery after all. And I, I stayed with the ketogenic lifestyle for a better part of two years on going on 196 weeks now. And I'm still at it, you know, and, and the, the, the weight's not flying off as much as I'd like to be flying off. But we had some uh setbacks last year with the hip surgery and you know my wife's in some personal stuff with death and stuff like that that kind of like throw me for a loop and then um you know you know it's just the way it is but overall from from where i was like the most i've been in three years is 200 pounds and uh now i'm 250 pounds but I, i've only gained back like uh, 50 pounds of it in, three, in a year now so i think that's pretty good being yep. on maintenance you know, and you know, that's really common for people that have gone carnivore or keto. And if they do gain back weight, they usually don't gain it all back. They usually right. gain back a portion, but not at all. So yeah. that's awesome. But it, you, you can relate to this too, Kathy. So when you're really mm -hmm. heavy, when you first started out, I, I was like losing pounds, like it was no tomorrow, but it was all water weight that was coming off of me, you know, it, and when I was true keto, when I was fasting and doing the uh, 23, 1, 26, 22, 26, uh, 18, well, you know, 24 to whatever, whatever. It, it was 16, eight fasting. Yeah. Sorry about that. 16, eight fasting and, and, uh, drinking and doing everything right that I was supposed to do and really count my carbs to 20 or less carbs a day. The first, uh, at least a year and a half on keto there, I, I was pretty successful losing an average of about two and a half to three pounds a week, yep. you know, plus all the walking that I was doing. And plus I eventually blew out both hips at, I, I had the hip surgery done in January of this year and the, and the, the other one done back a couple of years ago. And now I'm really good to go. But yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it, there's, yeah. there's a lot we can talk and discuss when we tell, tell the audience what's going on with everything. 
Sure. And I did the same thing. So initially, when I went on to Atkins induction, I stayed on Atkins induction, I didn't, you know, float around to other stuff, I just stayed there. And I lost consistently right, three right. pounds a week, all the way down. So it was really weird. But I did. Then I gained some I'd had a divorce back in 2015. I, I gained okay. 15, gained some weight. And uh, I'm like, Oh, my goodness, now what am I gonna do? Well, I knew what to do. Go back on Atkins induction, which is technically keto. Right. And so did that. And then I was having more trouble losing weight. So then I looked into, I keep looking at, I change things up all the time. Right. And I looked around and I heard about carnivore and I thought, well, I really don't need any carbohydrates. So why don't I give this a try? So I went carnivore and I've been doing that, like I said, for three years. And mm -hmm. It's, um, I still, it's not really a weight loss diet. It is a health restoration diet. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been doing a lot of research in carnivore. I like carnivore because it's really simple. You know, you, yes. I was, Dr. Ken Berry was saying that, well, how much do you eat when you're on carnivore? Basically like any other meal plan, you eat when you're full, you stop, you eat, you eat until you're full and you stop. And, uh, that's why I like the carnivore diet, weight loss program. Yeah, uh, but uh, again, I, I ran out of cash at the end of the month. My rent is jacked up $150. I had to refinance yeah. my car to lower that yep. payment to offset the money on the rent. And it's been a yep. battle. I've been trying to get a part time job somewhere. I got, I, I was going to do, a, they wanted to hire me really bad to become a school bus driver for the small kids. And they wanted too much information from me from uh, when I lived in South Carolina and I gave up on that. So now I'm moving on to the next possibility. I got an interview with him next Friday and they, they want to hire me full time, eight, eight to four thirty, which are great hours, but I need time off on Mondays but every other week for my wife's appointments. And if they wow. if they don't have a problem with that, then I'm good to go. She's gonna she has something going on with the kidneys where they she's gonna get infusion shots every two weeks and, and that's okay. a four hour that's a four hour deal with me for that. And and yeah. I need to be there with her for that. So I, I you know, if they're okay with that, then I'm okay with working. But it's driving. What it is, it's a paint company, and they they make uh, supplies for automobiles that say you've got to wreck in an automobile, and they they patch up the car and they fix it all up, and they're looking for paint to uh, to paint over it. And, well, my job would be with mixing up the paints and matching up the paint to the color of the car, you know, and then loading the stuff on the van and then driving it down to the to the car, owner of the company that's looking to buy the paint. But that that wouldn't be too bad, you know. You know, and of course, the job pays twenty bucks an hour for forty hours a week. But that that would be just to offset some of what we're not getting through retirement. Retirement, you no. Know, if you're on retirement, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They never, I they am. never, they never said retirement was going to be enough to live off of it in 2024. And I don't. I'm never going to talk politics, but you know, I don't know how you feel, but. We are far worse than we was in 2020, uh, 24 there when 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 uh, Sleepy took over the the, the current, right. current occupancy of the White House. It has and, it has and, gone we'll, crazy. We'll, 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 at the big house, we'll just say you know. But I, I, that, and that's as far as I want to go with it, and I don't want to take, say anything about that during the interview because right. I got my everybody shares the same beliefs I do. But it, it, we're not better off than we was, you know. It's it, it's something needs right. to get changed. I can't I can't qualify for any extra help because I'm just over the threshold. And it just, you know, I could go on and on about this. It, it, yeah. it, it aggravates me when I see people getting, you know, two or three grocery carriages full of food and they're using food stamps and I can't get them, you know. So, yeah. it's just, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. there's, there's nothing wrong well, with I'm that. I'm sorry picture. you're going through that, Ron, but I hope you know? that, that that company gives you favor. That they yeah. have compassion over he, your he, situation. He, he, he's willing to work with me. He, he, they want me to, like, Okay, so I got to go like in the adjacent town. My wife gets out of there at three o'clock, three thirty. Go home, bring them back, and then go back and finish up. I go, no, I'm not doing that. Once I'm done there that Monday, I'm done. It's only for four hours that I'm giving up. I'm giving up only eight hours a month. If they can't help me out with that, then I'll find something else. But there's a lot of companies that are hiring, but it's got to be a good fit for me, you know. But what I like about that job possibility. I, I, I can still move. I'm still going to be on my feet, and I go and I can sit down. It's not. I worked at Hannibus for a couple of places in our cities, and uh, that job was really rough on my feet because it was constantly on the hard floor. Right. They wanted to have it down, and my feet got torn right. up, and I had to stop that job. And then my yeah. hip blew out on me, and I had to replace my hip. But you know, and, and, uh, and he actually yeah. went back to Hannibus, but they 
they I, they get some hot policy. They didn't rehire people that when you leave like that. So it, right. it, unless you're a stellar employee, you know. But it, it yeah. is what it, it is what it is. You know, I just uh, I know some God will protect. God's always been on my side, and I, I know at some point you, you, you'll, it'll, it'll it'll be there. You know, he's going to make a way where there seems to be no way, and it I've got. I do believe in what the government thinks they're doing. I do, or what I do believe in God. I do believe in Jesus, and and we're on His timeline, not man's timeline. And they, and they know you heard of flip flopping. Things are going to flip flop all in one day when this all happens. So until that day happens, I keep encouraging people just hang in there a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. And and when when everything gets revealed out to the general public, you're going to say, "Huh," you know. And and I, I can't. Uh, bust anybody when this happens i just got to be there to, to be able to support them because right. there's going to be a lot of upset people when they find out what's really going on you know so i but just we have to I, do but, what but we in have me, to but do. in the meantime you and i and everybody that you know falls within our, our weight category and and, and I, I don't know about you kathy but i got people from the philippines and from germany I, all over the place yeah. following my journey and my youtube channel they really seem to enjoy mm -hmm. what i'm putting up and and i have 85 year olds and 70 year olds that are, that are following me online to get to get healthy and i and i thought well why did god put me on the planet and, and this was why this is my journey you know that didn't help other people you know it is it yeah. is and you know when we help other people we help them but we're actually helping ourselves by doing that yeah it's just us like I'm retired and okay. I have uh, I have a, a job okay. <laughs> online. <laughs> so I've been working online um, since I've been retired. I've completed a few certifications. I'm, I'm a certified food addiction oh, okay. um, advocate, food addiction okay. advocate, a nutritional advisor, and also a insulin IQ coach. Yeah, yeah. So, plus I'm an ordained minister. So you kind of just put them all together and this is why I'm here. So I'm doing everything online now. And it's just such a wonderful opportunity. Like you said, you can help other people. Yeah. And, and you know, maybe I might try that. You know, I could probably do the same thing you do and apply for a license or something like that. And just coach or something like that. That, I, that would be kind of cool. And, you know, I did try to go to school last year. Okay, I'm a videographer for the city there, but I, an unpaid videographer, let's put it that way. <laughs> and, and I... Uh, Last year, I, I applied for the local community college, and I got accepted, and I wanted to get my uh, degree, my master's degree. But we had a flood in our city there that uh, we had 10 inches of rain that fell in three hours, and it took, I took down all the stuff out of the basement downstairs. And my wife was in a hospital for five days. I lost my car, and I just gave up on the school thing. And, yeah. that, and that was part of everything that led to one thing and led to another, led to another. And I just said, okay, I can't do, I can't do this right now. If, will I return back to school in that type of setting? I don't know, you know, you know, especially when I'm seeing what's going on right now in some of the universities with the protests. I goes, now that kind of reminds me of the 1970s protests when we had the uh, war going on. And I said, no, maybe I'll just stay home and just maybe, maybe take a, the road that you're taking. That might be a better fit for me because I could do that in between working if I get that job that I want to get. So. You know yeah yeah and, so. you know um in my book i kind of have a chapter something like that okay and we're, it's up here let's see where that is and it's in chapter six and it's talking about the plagues of egypt and one of the plagues i don't know if i can find it quickly or not but it's about really those things that you go through in life i can't even mm -hmm. find chapter six well that's chapter five i know that so um so in one of the plagues, what happens basically is everything gets destroyed in your life. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. what you're describing to me. You know, you go through everything, you lose, you lose it all. Here it is. It is plague number, see if I can read that, number five. Okay. And it is the plagues against the livestock. Right. Well, the livestock is like your livelihood. And all of a sudden, everything's coming from left, right, and center. Yeah and, you, yeah. and you lose it. But you know what? You can recover it all, just as David recovered it all. Yeah. And, and, I, and I listened to a lot of the prof, prophetic prophets. Amanda yes. Grace there. She's a sweetheart. I listened to her and what's going on behind the scenes and Julie Green right. and, and and Elijah mm -hmm. streams and okay. I, I know what's going on you know and it, but I can't say anything on my channel because I don't want to get shut down like so many of them but have we so, don't so, need to, you so know? I, I just I, I 
I got a good idea of what's going on, and I and, and I know at some point when everything gets shut down and the emergency alert gets system gets activated, which is coming because you know it's going to be another shutdown before the election, and I I I know that's coming, but I just to that day happens. I'm just taking one day at a time. You know, you know these these things, things always work out, Kathy. Things always work out today. But I've gotten, also, yeah, and I've gotten everything I've ever asked for, mm-hmm. God, and then some, and, and and I get to see another day. And at the end of the day, I got two eyes, I got two arms, I got two legs, and I can still walk. So I got, nothing to, I got nothing to complain about, you know? Right. It's about focus. Are we going to yeah, focus yeah. on what the devil's doing or the things that are happening in the world? Yeah, yeah. Or are we going to focus on God? Because in the midst of darkness, the light is much brighter. Yeah, so the yeah. the opportunity to shine is great. So that means that this is actually opportunity time. This yeah. is devastation time. It doesn't matter what happens in the world. It doesn't yeah, matter it, what the I don't enemy, know. And I'm sure you'll probably do the same thing, but I, I always spend at least an hour to two hours in morning in prayer and silent time. So I, you know. No, I'm not as good as you. Th- th- thanking the God that I got to see today. And yeah, yeah, they're doing some work across the street. They're tearing up the sidewalk again. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but I don't know. But maybe it's that time of year again, no matter what street you go down, there's work on it. Yeah, so it's it's been a marvelous experience helping people, and they got everything all written down in Word doc and files and video. Because in case I might want to write a book one day, you never know, right? right. You know, you know. But uh, I just enjoy helping people, and you know, every I won Citizen of the Year in 2019 for uh, that city, and you know, and then I've gotten many, many documentary awards for the city for the studio for my film and photography cool. and my, the documentary cool. that I was putting out. You know, and and yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I just enjoy, enjoy so it. If you were to give yourself an award right now for what you've done in your life um, or what you've done on your journey, your weight loss journey, what award would you give yourself for? What was the greatest thing that you have done on your weight loss journey? that you think, hey, that was really good. What did I do? Um, well, I had to think about that one for a bit, but it, it, it would be just basically helping other people and uh, okay. inspiring, inspiring, well, to... in, in, inspiring other people. Inspiring, yeah, that's beautiful. It's so important that we do that. And what's been your greatest challenge throughout this whole journey? I mean, uh, you've got a challenge Yeah, right the, the learning process. Um, no? Okay, so from Jess from Keto Rewind was saying that, um, she was the one that got me going on keto by the way uh she was the first youtube channel i came along uh, and, yes, I, and yeah, it, I, I, I i actually met her mom and dad last summer and uh, i plan on meet her this this year when they come up to massachusetts yeah, but well they got to camp up in new hampshire and yeah. i'm from massachusetts and uh so i don't i just what was the question again when when uh your greatest challenge Oh, my, my my greatest challenge with my, my my greatest challenge on my journey would just be learning learning the process how to cook and all that stuff there i when i first started keto i i i, I never I, I was just updating my weekly updates every week but i never put any recipes up or anything like that and i said well geez oh man you could film cities and stuff and all that and you but you don't know how to film recipes come on give me a break and i only got this much room on my countertop to work but it's not like i got a big flown kitchen with an island and I don't have that set up. So I got to do the best. I got to be creative. I got to do the best I can at the very, very big. I'm surprised my channel so far when you looked at all some of my old videos and, and uh, they were crappy and uh, there was a lot of background noise. And so now what I do is when I film, I set it up on a nice towel for a background drop. So I don't have the reflection of the light. And then I just do the filming and then I rip off the uh, volume that the the audio and then they do sometimes I do a voiceover with simple instructions and other times just music with instructions. And they've been working out pretty good that way. But it took me that long time to figure that stuff out, you know, yeah. but it, it's, it's like with the weight loss, it's a learning, it's a learning experience, it's a learning you know. Experience. Yeah. yeah. And I got, I and, to- and as of this morning, I got like a, I'm four, I'm six, four, yeah, four or five subscribers away from hitting 1600. So that's pretty cool. That is. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. What's, what, what's holding me up is the uh, watch hours. I still need uh, 1,900 watch hours. I had 2,100 watch hours as, as of this morning because you need 4,000 total. Betty was telling me last week, focus on 4,000. Don't focus in on the 3,000. You know, that because w- once you hit the 4,000, then, then you're there. But once we hit the 4,000, we're going to have cash giveaways and we're going to have random give. I'll do like gift cards to Amazon or Walmart. And then yeah. I, I, want, I want to get some merchandise. But my friend Kelly made me that sign over there that says Ron Keto with a coffee shop logo. I want to have I want to have something similar to that made out, but with, yeah. a, 
put it with the shape of a coffee mug sure. and, and that's going to be my logo for a design for a shirt maybe for a hat or something like that yeah. you know you know we'll see we'll, well see what happens down the plans, road right yeah I gotta, it's, yeah it's one step at a time yeah exactly like the word of god when you grow in god it's one step at a time line upon line precept upon precept right here so a little we, there a little are we going live on youtube or did you set it up oh, we're on live oh we're on live okay okay we are I, on I, live I, on youtube okay so, so me, that's what i'm saying the first 10 minutes i was on there was no oh, okay sound. yeah I, I thought you were but i wasn't sure so i'm watching you on stream yeah because i don't see me let me uh, turn on the call oh, is there a, it doesn't have a live in the corner for you it yeah does, it does yeah, for me okay well it, it I mean, okay me. so let me yeah. go and let me uh go on my YouTube so what, while you're doing that but, you know when ahead. i i had the same challenges as you i don't cook. okay okay i've never really cooked i've never followed a recipe in my life i make whatever is available and uh so I've discovered a couple things that have helped me tremendously. And okay. that is an air fryer and a frying pan. And that's about yeah, all I yeah. use, air fryer, frying pan, one or the other, because I'm, I eat meat, take a piece of meat. And mostly I eat ground beef. You can get ground beef on sale here. I'm in Canada. So okay. in Canada, it's about $3.99 when it's on sale and per pound. And okay. a pound actually does mean, um, well, at least for a full meal, sometimes a bit more than that. And so it's like, okay, where can you eat for $4 a day? You know, mm. so I find that meat is actually cheap and uh, cheaper than buying vegetables. Our vegetables are very expensive, except for maybe in the summer they come down. So that's good. And as far as doing cooking videos, that's boring, I think. What okay. are you going to see? You're going to see me flip an egg in a frying pan? Okay. <laughs> yes. So I'm like you. I'm simple. I, I like today we have a uh, chicken drumsticks today. They've got them in the air fryer. I'll be popping them on. They're probably around 11. And uh, the last time I did that with the air fryer, I made chicken thighs. My wife really loved them. And, the, you know, I heard that she doesn't do keto, but she will eat some keto food that I make. And uh, I have an infusion induction cooking thing that I bought. I really love it. It's, a, it's, chase of the, it's an extra burner, basically. And I bought a nice new uh, stainless steel pan set. And uh, I, I do a lot of cooking with that. And, of course, I do the, uh, the shapples a lot. I got a new shapples play that's going every day at noontime, Monday through Friday. And then uh, I, on weekends, they put up videos. And I, I, I'll randomly talk live and I'll randomly just put up videos from time to time. I got over 900 somewhat videos posted on my uh, YouTube channel. And a lot of them are my weekly uh, adventures, what I do, what, uh, how my week went, how my day is going. Right. Uh, when I go walking, sometimes I'll just pop up live, hold my camera up and go walking and show people right. the nice background, yeah. what, what I'm seeing and stuff like that. Now, Monday, we have the Memorial Day Parade. I'll be downtown filming that. And the, it's only about 10 minute parade. But I, and then I go over there to where they start put, you know, handing out the awards. I'm not going to do any of that other than just photography. But I'll film the parade and then I, I may put it up live or because sometimes I did a live yesterday from uh, from the downtown area. Then I noticed it was really distorted on the uh, video because the, uh, the internet connection was really lousy. But um, the common the area downtown in our city of Lemister, I'm from Lemister, Mass, by the way, North Central Massachusetts, home of Johnny Appleseed. And uh, it's under renovation that uh, they, they made it all handicap accessible, leveled it all off. And they got they they're putting up over maybe 50 different bushes and trees in there. And it, it's and they're going to be power washing all the monuments over there when it's complete. It's almost it's almost ready. Probably be the first week of June, they're saying. Mm -hmm. But the, our mayor, uh, Dean, there, we he's been him and I've been friends since childhood. He's been the longest acting mayor of the Commons for wealth over 30 years. He puts out a lot of great local events. We have a, a pink flamingo thing coming up in January. We have a summer stroll event, uh, the winter stroll. We have the cannoli festival. I don't do cannolis, but I like to just go down there and talk to people. And right. and uh, we have a food truck festival. We have all these things going. Oh, we have an Acadian festival coming up pretty soon, and all these things that go on off. And and, and uh, so I like to go down there talk to the people that know me, and right. they all know me from Ron's Keto. Yeah, it sounds like you're a very social and, and, person. And, 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 yeah, exactly. And I and I just you know I'll go walking and I was, I was hey, and I used to always be afraid, Kathy. And when I used to go walking at the very beginning, I I, I wish I would have had more full frame photographs without this on. Okay, and uh, it uh, it it just. 
it is what it is from, from back in that particular time frame. You know what I'm talking about when I reference this, right? The diaper. And, and, and uh, so, but the, the ones that I did have are very grateful. So now when I go on, on walking, when I'm walking and stuff like that, I, was, I, I make a conversation with somebody who goes, Hey, you mind taking a, I was taking a photograph yesterday. As a matter of fact, they had a, a pink flamingo because we got pink flamingo day coming up in our city because it, it was created in our city. The, the plastic pink, pink flamingo back in the fifties. And uh, so he celebrates that one day a month. And then on, on June and uh, they had a plastic pink flamingo set up. So I was getting ready to do a selfie photograph and a girl pulled over in the car. She goes, Hey, you want me to take a photograph you want? So yeah. So she took a great straight photograph of me. And so when I'm walking, sometimes I'll ask people, Hey, you mind taking a straight photograph of me? And I, I tell them about my right. weight loss and why I need a photograph. It's just to do a comparison to right. see where we are and see where we want to be. And see where we, eventually where we want to be uh, where I want to finish up. So that's, yeah. that, that's, and that's how I get to meet a lot of friends and stuff like that. And then they're showing my YouTube channel on my phone and then they take a snapshot of it and then they subscribe to me and they start following me, you know? Right. And, Some yeah. people go on into change rooms, you know, in a change room and, and, at a store and okay. then they take a picture because okay. it's a, well, that's a good idea. Here. Yeah, that's a good idea. I wish I would have known that because I was in Kohl's last week and I had a non-skill victory. I bought some clothes. I'm, I went from a 6X shirt down to a uh, size uh, medium. And now I'm back up wow. to an extra large, but even from a six to an extra hey, large, I think that's fantastic. It's still a celebration. And, yes. and uh, uh, so when I went to Kohl's and I tried on, I tried on a two X and I tried on an extra large. The two X was too big for me, so I, I bought the extra large. And because you know yourself, all clothes material run different and stuff like that. So the, the extra large could be really good. And this is an extra large. You see how big it is. And yeah. then uh, uh, so. So that's a good idea. So next time I go down to there at Walmart, maybe I'll just pick up a uh, like a six X shirt and put it on and say, "This was my size when I started." And I, 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 I actually yeah. saved a pair of pants and a shirt from that from that. But the problem is I had them downstairs in a basement, and it was September 11th rolled around last year. We had nine inches or almost ten inches, actually oh, eleven inches damaged. rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it wiped out all everybody's stuff downstairs, and my stuff got wrecked. Right. You know, wiped out. Yeah. I had insurance, yeah. but they they wouldn't pay for flood. My car got totaled. I did get uh, quite a substantial amount for my car. I was able to pay off all my bills and buy another one. But, well, it, you know, okay. yeah, and then, then, of course, my wife was in the hospital for four days during that time. And then then, then we had two dead spent. I lost my aunt and I lost my uncle two, one day apart from each other and back in July of last year. And that kind well, of was like rough. I said, and, eh? Light, you know, life yeah, happens. It's yeah. hard. It's hard, those things. Yes. But even in the midst of the difficulty, you know, God is with us and he'll see us through the difficulty. And it doesn't mean we have to turn to food for our comfort. That's not yeah, our exactly. Thing, right. And um, yeah, so you've been you've lost a whole lot of weight. You're struggling a little bit right now because of the finances. The finances but a job, a door is going to open. If not a door, a window oh, yeah. will open oh, yeah. for you. Um, you're hoping one day that your YouTube will grow. I never came onto YouTube to grow a channel. I came onto YouTube, because, I, I guess because I started after I, uh, when I started teaching this program of mine, the Kingdom Way, teaching it in churches and abroad, then I, de I decided that, hey, I should just put some of this stuff on YouTube. My daughter had been telling me for years, actually, 2015, she says, why don't you put your book on YouTube, which I never did. And then I saw there was a lot of people out there doing carnivore, and I thought, nah, I guess I should stick something up there. So I stuck something up there, and that now I, it's just an easy place to put things up and, and share. Yeah, and uh, same with me as far as that goes. Uh, the YouTube channel was never about me. It was even though it seems like that from time to time, but it was uh, it, it was just basically to uh, you know, okay, it's just. Okay, I got that on pause. Okay, I was just trying to look for your link on YouTube. So I, I uh, it was just about to inspire people and to uh, document my journey to see where I wanted to take yeah. this thing. Yeah. And what was the wake up call was back in 2020 in January, I had an MRI for my back because all this time we thought it was my back that I was having back issues. And uh, we were going cortisone treatments and all that. And I was going to get back surgery. And then uh, um, we had the, uh, they, anyways, if, if they finally, when I had to go to, I went to a chiropractor for my, uh, for my back, and then he realized it was my hip, and then right. I went to the hip doctor, and he replaced my right hip, and then my left hip eventually. Two different doctors, two mm -hmm. different years, 
that's been all fine. Uh, January, I had my left hip out, and I, I the same day I was driving, and I shouldn't have been driving when I got home, and I blew up my hamstring, and I was that that was a two month setback for me, and right. but I I've, I've been fine ever since with all that, and uh, so when I couldn't fit into the MRI machine, I decided to do weight loss, and I, and again we we did all of everything what we had talked about, and then also. And we said, well, you want to have weight loss surgery? And they says, I'll, I'll okay with it. If you want to, I'll okay it through the insurance company. And I, I said, yes. And then we made up all the pre-ops. We were going to, we were going to a Emerson hospital and I and went over there and we, we had it all set up for surgery day. And my mom passed away in 2010 and she had asked me prior to passing away. And she said, Ron, I got six months left to live. And I said, mom, I don't want to hear this mom. And I goes, yeah, but I got to tell you, you know, what was going on with her and everything like that. And uh, she begged me not to have weight loss surgery because she had the very first ones done in the 1970s when it was still at the time experimental. She had a lot of right. problems with the scopuses and everything. So I said, no, I said, I'm, you know, and I said, uh, I, and then I remembered what she said. And it goes, I, I told the doctor, I said, no, I'm not going to do this. And then I, that's when I got a hold of my doctor. We decided on doing the weight loss through keto and through carnivore. And it's been really a, a marvelous experience making contact with a number of different YouTubers like you and Keto, uh, Jess's family from Keto Rewind and uh, yeah. her mom, Deborah and Tom. I met both of them last year at the coffee shop. They yeah. drove five That's hours. That's what you were saying, yeah. They drove five hours just to see me. And, uh, you know, her daughter lives in Texas and one daughter lives in Florida. And they, they, they you know, they all visit these, they all visit each other over the course of the year when they're down there. And, um, so, and she and she wants to meet me this summer. They're going to invite me one day up to camp. Her yeah, Jess, her Jess is vitamin. cool. I've watched yeah, her before yeah. for sure. And you yeah. know, the thing about carnivore or keto is satiety. Because yeah. the problem is that you're not satiated if you're going to be eating carbohydrates. You won't be satiated, really. Um, especially if you got more of a focus on there. Everybody needs to have enough protein. Yeah, We really need the protein. And then enough fat so that you feel satiated. And sometimes people that are overweight that, or that have been abusing, that uh, ignoring, not in touch with their own bodies, they've yeah. lost touch with the signals, you know, the leptin and the ghrelin. They're not really knowing when yeah. they're satiated. But eating meat will satiate us. But Dr. Ken Berry talks about the proper human diet all the time. And it's uh, all the, the time. The, That's the, 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 the meat diet or the lion diet. I, I, my friend Danielle Joy, she's doing a dead lion. So, what the heck is a lion diet? It's just yeah. basically meat and salt. You know, but it's, it's fine if you can afford it. But I, I mean, this, this is why I wanted to go back to work to like load up my freezer again and, yeah. and, and do it that way. But I, I did a video a while back ago on what I eat in the day. I was doing like a beef and butter fast sort of type thing. And uh, I, I was drinking a drink, and I, I looked at it. It was lemon lime, but it, I, you know, the Gatorade. But I didn't realize it had sugar in it, and it got a lot of heat from one of the YouTubers. But she, you know, I, I was appreciated that she she had mentioned that because sometimes I don't read the label, and I'll buy something, and I realize wow. that it's not weight loss. But yeah. this is this is zero, and it's got a lot of electrolytes in it, and it's uh, it's called Power Aid. It's kind of like Gatorade, but it's got it's yes. got zero carbs and it, zero sugar in it. But yes. it's got a lot of electrolytes in it, which I really like because I do a lot of a lot of walking. Walking, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I, I hadn't done this in a long time. I did like a five mile straight walk, and and I brought one of those, which really wasn't enough. And by the time I got to the end of one street, I, I said, "Oh, geez, I must have a second second thoughts about walking." But I, I did it. But it took me like four hours. But I stopped at two stores along the way to pick up another water. And by the time I got home, I was so drenched with sweat and everything. And I said, well, once I cooled down, right. I was fine. And but, they're quite uh, expensive, actually. At the um, gas station, yeah. I was going to buy some beef jerky. They wanted like $10 but a small little package yeah, but, of beef jerky. But even so, I mean, that's going to cover you for a couple of meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah so yeah. sometimes we really need to look at our budget and where our money is going. Because there's sole water. You can make sole water. And you can find that recipe online. You can yeah. um, buy your, who is it? Um uh, I can't remember his name, the, but the, the people that do their own electrolytes, they make yeah, up their own. Yeah, I've seen other people do that as well with some uh, pink salt and uh, I, yeah, uh, pink the, salt uh, and I no have salt the, uh, or no salt. I bought yeah. some of these little packages called Propel, and, and, and you take one package and you, you just fill up a little bottle of like this little water. This is 20 ounces, and you fill yeah. it up with water, just put one little package in, and you, got, and you got your water with electrolytes. I do that once in a while too, but I, I just I, I don't really uh, use yeah. them a lot, I have them. 
but I don't really use them very much. Although I'll put a little, I do drink uh, decaf coffee and I'll put a pinch of salt in there um, because they say coffee's dehydrating. So that'll make up the difference I figured. But satiety, it's so important that we have the protein um, somehow or another, wherever you got to cut back to get it. <laughs> and you know, even Dr. Berry, you mentioned Dr. Berry. Well, Dr. Berry right. says you're better off to eat hot dogs than eat that other stuff. Yeah. 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 I found your link on YouTube there. So I'll, I'll share it over to my Facebook group afterwards. Oh, by the way, I got a Facebook support group called Ron's Keto Cafe Facebook support. It, oh, it's, cool. it, okay. I have like 400 people that uh, follow me on there and I post uh, every day when I get up, Kathy, I post good morning quotes and, uh, yeah. Since the early days of 2020, and uh, um, I have like 3,000 friends on my regular page, and I wish everybody a happy birthday in the morning. You know, I go on friends and see who's got birthdays, and I post a lot of city stuff and you know stuff like that. And I'm at a, I'm at a story and a uh, local historian, and I have you know I post historical stuff in the past, and he also I'll do a lot of past to present stuff, just like with the weight loss before and afterwards. <laughs> right. Right. You know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so I, you know, I, uh, you know, again, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, we were going to do a uh, skydiver, too. That was one of my goals I never accomplished yet. Uh, well, last year, my aunt was going to do it with me. We went, we went over to a place in our city, uh, well, it was a couple of cities over called uh, Sky uh, Jump Town. And mm -hmm. uh, it's like $300 or something like that. And it's cheaper if you're doing it during the week instead of the weekend. And my aunt say she was 80 years old last year and she was going to do a uh, skydiver with me. And, uh, you know, I thought about it and I said, well, you know what? I need a hip surgery out. And if, well, what if something happens and I land awkward and I blow up my hip or something like that? And I'd be really messed up because they don't tell you all the accidents that happen to people that if you're not healthy enough to skydive. But you have to be a certain body weight to skydive. And when I was thinking about the skydiving thing. Okay. We went down there and, and I was right. I was at the time I was like 220 pounds. And so, and I, and I wanted that to be an achievement thing that I, all, all the weight and frustration and all the depression and everything finally went. And, and uh, so we decided against my better judgment. And then I found out a, about another place up in New Hampshire. It's a simulator. You can go into a, what's called the simulator and they give you the experience of skydiving. So I think, think okay. that at some point I'll do that. That'll be a better option for yeah, me. But no, I think that the goal of skydiving is an excellent goal. And you're doing a lot of things. You know, I always use what I call the hand. Uh -huh. And the hand really speaks to me. I use it in almost every time I speak for something or another. But you're looking after your spiritual life. You talked about that. You spend a couple a couple hours a day, much more yeah. than I do with the yeah. Lord. That's, that's, that's fantastic, right? The next one is the Peter Pointer. That's your body. It takes you where you want to go. So you've got a lot of movement. You're walking in the area and um, enjoying nature at the same time. Your mental health. Now, you just talked about depression. How okay, you how so you, let me, let me talk depression. about all that, too. Okay, so... And I forget to mention, I didn't really mention that, but I, I'm glad you put, brought that up because sometimes even though I have notes there, I, mean, I didn't write down any notes today. I just wanted to do everything from, you know, what I That's could fine. remember. And I, I'm glad you're bouncing off of me so I can mm -hmm. feed off you a little bit. So, um, yeah, so I was diagnosed with bipolar depression back before 2020. I was on a lot of medication. Uh, they kept adjusting the amounts and all that stuff over there. I had sleep apnea and I had high blood pressure. I had diabetes type two and all that stuff. I didn't have to take the insulin, but I was pretty close to it. And uh, so uh, a couple of, well, at least once anyways, I almost committed suicide and I got this documented. So I'm not afraid to talk about it now. So when I came, became spiritually motivated back to God and, you know, renewed my faith and everything. Uh, and, and, you know, I don't know. I'm a Catholic, born again Christian, also. But okay. you know, you know, and I, I'm a volunteer member of our local parish. I volunteer there every Friday night and do whatever they ask me to do. And I give back. And and I and I don't don't only do that parish. I go to all the other parishes. And it doesn't make any difference if it's Protestant, if it's Catholic, or if it's a Jewish community. I I'm just curious. I like to learn about the different. You know, the, you know the. Uh, how they do things, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I do that. So I had bipolar depression and, and they had sleep apnea and all that stuff there. So when I got off, when, when, I, when my weight started flying off, oh, oh yeah, so when they kept me in the hospital overnight to monitor me and all that, and I, I the next day I said, no, I can't deal with this stuff. I got rid of all the medication. I've been off of everything. I don't take anything but blood pressure. I don't take any medication whatsoever. 
I don't have sleep apnea no more. And, and uh, when, you, when you lose weight, a lot of that will go away. And uh, But before you do all that, make sure you check with your doctor first because uh, like Kathy will, will both say the same thing. I, sure. I'm, not, I'm not giving no medical advice and I'm not For a doctor sure. and they don't make any medical claims. And this is all based on my journey and get permission from my right. doctor. Work with us. your doctor along the way. And, and anything that I've needed to do, if I have, uh, what was really great about my doctor at the very, at the, even now, when she was on board with keto or carnivore or, or the, the uh, Atkinson's or anything like that, Weight Watchers, if I had a question about my blood or whatever, she would just check it for me. And even if I had to spend yep. the extra money because the insurance didn't cover the cost, I, I want to make sure that my insulin's not high. I want to make sure everything is good, yep. so I know I, I know where I need to be, you know. And yep. I had I had a really bad case of ex, 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 eczema and lipidemia and all that stuff. Yeah, that's all gone. You know, and, it's, and, and that's it's, because you know. meat heals. Yeah, that's my, yeah. That's my slogan, actually, for the the kingdom way is healing with meat and Jesus. Meat heals, yeah, yeah. and it also satiates, and it looks after many, many different medical conditions, including mental conditions. Yeah, and, and the other thing so, that's really helped me too is walking. I go walking every day. This walking. I I, I walk. Awesome. 50 plus miles already for this month of May. And wow, um, good for you. And Sunday, Sunday, it was raining out Sunday, but I didn't care. I was walking in the rain and they had my hoodie on. And, you know, and then, uh, yeah. the, so what I do when I go walking, I take a lot of photography on the houses and anything I see that might be interesting. And, you know, something random, like a little kid's toy that's on the grunt lawn. And what she did right. was she took the seat cover off. She put a plot on the air with some flowers. And I thought that was cool how she repurposed the kid's toy and, Sure. And then, I, and then I saw a nice table out there on the sidewalk that was for a, for a rubbish so pickup. So it says you've got an eye but for it, but it, but, but it was solid and it was a round table and I and I was mm -hmm. shaking like that. And it, all it needed was just a little bit of TLC. You could script that whole table down, revarnish it, put a nice checkerboard design on it, or a nice monopoly board, or put a nice belt on it, make a nice uh, card table okay. out of it. And the next day I went yeah, over there and somebody, somebody grabbed it, you know, so they had to say, but I, I took a snapshot of it and I posted it. So somebody must have saw my post and wanted a table, but yeah. uh, you know, I do a lot of stuff like that when I'm walking and I, I, and I just enjoy helping people and talking. To you've people. got a creative edge in you. Yeah, I hear yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if, you, you've got, if you've watched you've one of my very church. first videos, I was talking about my turkey gobbler and I had a big puffy yeah. face and I was very yeah. nervous when I'm talking. And now I'm actually talking like I know what I'm talking about, which I do, That's and, awesome. and, and, you know. And I'm and not afraid amazing, to talk and say, you know, any, it's, say anything. It's amazing yeah. um, what God has done, where he's brought you yeah, from. And yeah. he's not done yet. He's no, continuing to work in your not. life. Yeah. Continuing to work. And you'll get back on track completely. I know you've got a lot of things going well, there. Well, I never fell off reason, track. I never fell off track there. We just had a little slowdown a little bit. That's a little all. bit of a slowdown. And yeah, a little bit of a slowdown. And now it's the job thing. Yeah. So I, I really hope for that job. Thing. No, we know, but, we know that'll happen. And the other thing I don't I like will. about Kathy too, is like last Friday at Bingo, one of my friends there, you know, he just made a, not a wise comment, but she's running. He says, I know we should pick up a lot of weight. And I, I said, I said to myself, I wish people would stop judging people by how much I lost and how much I'm gaining back. Cause you don't know what some of these circumstances might be going you through. Don't you, know. You, you, you know, it, okay. So I'm going to give you a, for instance, when I first started, uh, the Jenny Craig, I, I was going down there getting my food yeah, and stuff that like one? that. And yeah. I think you've been there before, you know, and one of the counselors there told me, he said, Ron, if you see somebody that falls that's really, really skinny, don't judge them and say, what are they doing here when they don't need to be? Cause they might've been as big as I was before I started my weight loss and, and, and they're there because, or maybe they just want to eat healthy, you know, but, that's but right. no, nobody should have a problem with somebody nice. else. What, you know, you know that I'm, I, it, Life is, life and weight loss is a journey and it takes time. It takes patience. I don't care who you are, you, you know, and we all have our ups and downs, you know, and believe me, I had more downs than I had ups, but you know, I'm having a non-scale victory. My clothes are still fitting small. I weighed yeah. myself in this morning. Right. I'm still, I'm down four pounds for the week and I feel pretty good. That's know? awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. But you know, it's not just about weight, is it? It's no. really about our health. Because yeah, we yeah, want that's, to yeah, that's right. Health. That's right. Because if you don't have your health, you don't have any. You can have a million dollars in your bank account, but if that's you don't have right. your health, what the heck good is it? You know. So it's about our health, and that's yeah. the thing that it's healing with meat and Jesus. Because we need our spiritual okay. life too. However, people exercise, and we need community. 
Yeah. We need each other. And Community so I'm so support. grateful. I'm I, so I, grateful I, I met you. That you I became, yeah, and I, and I became, when I first started, and I would tell your audience, just the ones that might be watching later or, or the replay, um, when you're new to weight loss, it's so important to get family and friend support and uh, get involved with some uh, Facebook support groups to help you out. Yeah. And I would, I, I would recommend if you're new and you're really serious about your weight loss journey, take a scale number, take a photograph of the scale number, write down the date that you took it, take full frame photographs and all kinds of photographs Absolutely. if you can, to get Great measurement, to get, get measurements and keep that information somewhere. And then periodically, try, what I always try to do is go always back to the same location and, and uh, take photographs, yep. you, know, you know, that's, and, and that's how I could do a nice comparison. And it's, right. and, uh, and it was very helpful with all the videos because it, you could see them. Like when I post this week's uh, 196 update, I have three photographs of three different years, including this year. And you can clearly see the difference between all three years, you know. And yeah. and uh, I had my I used to have all red blotches on my face and all that stuff. All that cleared away. You know, That's you know? right. You exactly. Know? It's so. all it's healing. We heal from the the yeah. inside out. But and that's by the food. It's like Hippocrates says, let food be thy medicine. Yeah. And unfortunately, I didn't get all those pictures beforehand. I'm trying to no, kind of dig no, some up. I, I was thinking maybe we could do this again. Maybe just do a chit chat, something like that. You know, at some point when you're ready to have me perhaps. back again. Uh, yeah, yeah, perhaps. And um, but I'm really thankful that you were able to come today. Yeah, no problem. Gave some tips. And where can they find you again? Uh, Ron's Keto Cafe YouTube channel. And then... Um, Okay. Uh, Ron's uh, it, it Ron's keto on Facebook. Ron's, Ron's keto uh, Facebook support group. And, okay. and uh, if you if you click on the link and just tell me you came over from Kathy Dix, Dick. Uh, I, I thought your Dick, name was Dixon. Digger Dickerson. Dixon. No, Dickson. it's Dixon. Dickson. Dickinson was okay. a great author. Yeah, I I I'm have an author, but not have, that one. <laughs> I have a lot of problems sometimes with pronunciation okay. words. It's, it's just That's funny okay. as that. Here was the other particular about me not wanting to do recipes because sometimes, because I never went to culinary school. And uh, when I was doing recipes, sometimes I used to say teaspoon and I meant to say tablespoon and that could be a huge oh, difference. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know so, so, so now it I could make a difference yeah, in the recipe. Yeah, well, you get, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, because I even some of the, I saw Annie at uh, Keto Focus one time. She had reference. She said a cup and a half of um, bacon powder, and I said, "My God, if I would have put a cup and a half of bacon powder, I, I don't know what kind of effect that would have had on the, the recipe." But she meant a tablespoon and a half. I figured it out afterwards. But we all make mistakes like that that we don't always catch, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so, so true. Yeah. You know, so I'm gonna well, get going with daughter's dinner. This time, but, thank, but yeah, you brought yeah. up some things today, Ron. And if you would allow me to, I would like to pray for you. Would that sure. be okay? Sure. fine. All right. So, Father, I thank you so much that Ron is making himself available to you, available to others, Lord, just to help them on their journeys. He's had a difficult time, and even now things come against him sometimes. But, Lord, you're going to see him through it all. So I'm asking you, Father God, for favor for Ron, for a job that's going to provide for all of his needs. And I'm asking you, Lord God, for his wife, this these issues that she's having in her body, that you'll bring healing and strength to her body as well. I thank you, Lord, for this day that you've given us, because this is the day that you made, and we will, we choose, we will rejoice and be glad in it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you so much for being yeah. here, Ron. Yeah, and, and before, we'll, before we leave, yeah. I'll say, um, I always walk by faith, not by sight. And I That's encourage right. people to do the same thing, okay? Because All right. regardless of yeah. what you're seeing on the news, I watch two minutes in the news in the morning, just the local sports and the weather, and then it gets shut down the rest of the day because I don't want to hear it. No, <laughs> yeah. You know what's happening. You I already know what's work, happening, and I told you again before. It's on God's timeline, not on man's time, timeline. Everything is in God's it, timeline. You know, and you it's going to happen for, for you, Ron. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, and I believe it will, too, because, I, you know, I'm – I know, I know something's going to happen pretty soon. Something marvelous, you know, but it, it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. Well, thank you for being here. Yeah. And we will All right. See you around. All right. The Thanks, Kathy. Carnivore community. Okay. Bye for well. now. Okay. And everybody, I just want to invite you to uh, participate with me if you would like or with Ron to go to his channel. I'll put the link below. It's not there just yet, but I will get it there. And uh, but come join me if you like on Thursdays at noon. For a carnivore chat, it's in my Zoom room. 
room 499-365-9481. Passcode is 123456. How easy could that be? And then we go through the Kingdom Way book, this book, which is available on Amazon if you want. And we go through that on Thursday evenings, 7 p.m., same time. There are no fees with either one. It's just a, a, an act of love, and that's it. We have a great little group of people that, that gather together. We talk about God. We talk about food. We talk about healing with meat and Jesus. God bless you all. Thank you so much for being here.